Hello everybody, it's Paul Driscoll here, aka The Drisk. Now today I have another random game to try with you, and uh, let's see what I've chosen. It's uh, Hacker Mecha Fighter in 1991 by NMK, or Nippon Micro Kaihatsu. And, uh, oh, look at that, that's gorgeous. I've never played this before, but anything with a sea lion with his little legs hanging out. Oh, look at that, levels, it's absolutely beautiful. Now, uh, Hakameka is uh, Japanese for uh, nonsense. So this is like nonsense fighter. Oh, died already there. Um, and uh, this is certainly has the same level of craziness as uh, little gems like, oh, I don't know, um, your Parodius and things like that. Now, um, oh, uh, NMK was a company that uh, came from Yukio uh, Kojiori, who, now he was the head of um, companies like Universal, um, you know, that did Mr. Do's, and uh, Tenken, who did the uh, Bomb Jack, real classic games. And in fact, um, the certainly at the beginning of NMK, uh, they were founded by all the <laughs> oh dear, uh, all the people uh, that could, that worked on Bomb Jack. So it was a real sort of pedigree. And NMK K are probably not that well known because they tended to do work for uh, Jaleco and, and things. Um, so you probably know these as Jaleco shooters, but they, they did some classic shooters in their time. Um, examples of P-47, Thunderbolt, Saint Dragon, and the uh, Thunder Dragon games. Um, and not to mention they also did uh, Bomb Jack Twin in 1993 and uh, Zed Blade in 1994. <laughs> I died already, but oh, I love this game. And uh, yeah, it's it's really sad that they're not really surviving anymore. Um, you know, they went bankrupt in 1999. Really in their tail years, they just sort of did mechanical prize machines and things. Uh, just, yeah, it, it is, it's a real shame. Because, I mean, as you can see here, these, this is a, such a solid blast. I mean, look how beautiful uh, the graphics are and the craziness of it all. And uh, when, I, when I was reading up on this game, because uh, obviously I'm narrating after the fact. Um, it's amazing really that uh, this only got playable, only emulated uh, last year uh, by a very talented individual called Trap50. Um, and what he did basically was he managed to get the PCB board um, on eBay and up until that time nobody could crack these uh, copy protection uh, but he couldn't believe his luck when he got this ebay uh, pcb board he, he had the uh, the knowledge to know that well hang on this is a bootleg version and it's not got any protection on it so it was a finally they had like an unprotected version of uh, this hacker mecha fighter um, and so he thankfully put it on main so we finally have a playable version and uh, I, I just feel that's so important with all of this because you know I mean if it wasn't for these talented individuals doing things like this this game probably be lost to uh, pretty much everybody I mean at some point the PCB board's gonna go wrong and you know th this could have been lost to time so really you know hats off to people like Trap15 and uh, all the people that do preservation such as this because <laughs> this is a real gem of a game and uh, one that I would heartily recommend. Oh, uh, As you can see you can make yourself go large like on that um, <laughs> and it's, uh, it's quite a nice little mechanic there. You can sort of use there. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun this is a really really solid fighter a real hidden gem and I'm so glad I got a chance to to play it and this is a game why I'm doing these uh, random games literally just sort of select things because I pro pro this probably would have passed me by I mean I, if I stayed long enough on a single you know to see the video and <laughs> see how it was a sea lion with little legs dangling I probably uh, would play it at that point uh, <laughs> but because uh, uh, it's just so darn cute 
but uh, other than that, I certainly would have missed missed it. I'll just play through here. Really cute enemies. You can see why it's called Nonsense Fighter, uh, but it's nonsense in that delightful way. And I, I love the uh, the parallax going on. It's quite a technical shooter. A good shooter. Very good. Anyway, I'll probably leave it there. Uh, we'll just let that run down. But I uh, hope you enjoy it. And, you know, look out. I'm trying to do more of these where we'll just find some hidden gems like this together. And uh, <laughs> hopefully there's uh, more sea lion uh, flying antics in, in the games that we'll discover. So there you go. So until next time. Keep it retro and see you later. Well, just let it run out to the uh, game over. <laughs>